So here we are at uh, Jimmy's Lake in Essex again. Bit of early spring catfishing. Come down there with two friends of mine. We're giving the the clonk float or the BP float a go. And this is the 445th fish we've had now and it's only half past nine in the morning. We'll do a little video today, do a little bit of an instruction as well. I'll keep you posted. He's still there. Yeah. Yeah, got him. Top look. Let's get back to it. We get to see how much further you're going as well again. Yeah, you're not that much. Not much, is it? So here's another one on the float, having a good day, probably had 10 fish between us now, just starting to get them rocking under the floats now, getting their bites pretty quick, enjoying our day here. We'll do a little instructional video later where Dan Wadey will show you how to fish with the float. Open. Getting this decent fish, this one, don't Oh! Hi, I'm Dan Wade and I'm at Jimmy's Lake, Coringham, Essex, and I'm going to show you how we're going to use this clonk float and the importance of continually feeding around the clonk float as well as using and utilising its amazing ability to splash and clonk in the water and excite catfish. Just going to cast it out now.
great clock noise. I've got to be quick here, trying to hold the rod at the same time and fire out one, maybe two pellets. Just to keep some attraction in the water. I'm constantly watching the float, trying to make sure I'm ready for that bite. The float might slide along the surface or it might just completely disappear. It all depends on how the catfish is going to attack. I've just moved the float slightly and this will make the pellet lift in the water slightly and flutter down again it could create an edge. Here you can see the importance of the twitch Dan was referring to. Here we're firing the pellets. As we finish firing the pellets, the float is twitched, then it slides away, resulting in a fish. So I'm now going to cast this out. We're going to get just the other side of the bar where the fish seems to be hiding at the moment. So fairly decent cast, maybe a little short. And then once we've cast out, while keeping an eye on the float, start putting some pellet out there. And I've just missed it. That was TV gold right there. No? Yeah. Yeah, got him. While we were there that day, a young man called Dave was in the peg next to us, struggling to catch his first catfish. We invited him to come over and fish in our swim using the float. Amazingly, within a few casts, he'd caught himself his first catfish. The relation between him and his son made the whole day worthwhile. <laughs>